Hello everyone, this is Cindy and I'm just showing you the latest junk journal I have for sale. It's a little golden book, the Sleepy Book, and it measures six and a half by eight. I put a two inch spine in it and I covered it with this fabric and I've got it closed with this little scarf. I cleaned the front cover and I tried just a little bit to get that name off, but I was afraid it would take too much scrubbing in and didn't want to damage the book, so I left it on there. For me, that does not bother me at all because Amy is my daughter's name, even though this is not her book. So if it bothers you and you buy the book, then of course you can cover it with something. But anyway, I just left it. Uh, this has three signatures and 168 pages, and I kind of went overboard with the lace, but you know, I'm not sure there is such a thing as going overboard with the lace. But of course, if you don't like it, it's fairly easy to snip off. So anyway, let's look through this journal. I added a library pocket and I have these two tags. One's just got a leaf stamp on it and one's got a teddy bear. When I first saw the uh, journal, I thought, oh, it's gonna have a lot of teddy bears in it. But actually, it probably has more rabbits in it than teddy bears. But um, anyway, I had been collecting bear stuff, so you'll see quite a bit of bears. So here's a little pocket and it's just got this tag in it. I left all the original book pages, they're in order, they're in the first signature and the second signature. And the copyright, original copyright is 1948, but this says it was renewed in 75, so this book is no older than 75. Here's just a pocket I made out of some uh, book page and it's got four little places, four little pockets actually. This little tag has just got a little lace flip and some collaging on it, I put it behind. There's another little tag with a little bit of collaging on it. There's a little tag, and then here is a uh, kind of like a coat of arms with a bear in it. It's a little journaling card. And there's lace on this page, and this is some old music paper. And this is a uh, just a page from another book that had about bears, and I just sewed this receipt onto it. Here is a page with some lace and stamped a deer on it and put a fabric tab on it. On the back side, I made a um, belly band. Now, I used another book. Um, I don't see it near me. Um, got a lot of pages from it, and it was about the beaver pond or something, so I had a lot of nature scenes. And this is just a strip that was left over, and you can see the beaver here working on their, their dam. And I took some raffia. Remember that stuff from the 80s? <laughs> Oh yes, I still had some of it at my house. So anyway, I just took pieces of it and glued it between the book page and this cardstock so it looks kind of like the um, limbs that the beaver would have been using to build their dam or the grass or whatever they build it out of logs. And then I just put this little journaling card behind it. It's a piece of cardstock that I folded up to make a pocket. And it has this tag with a little bit of collaging on it. And... Then I made this little booklet just out of some um, craft paper and just some blank pages. Just a little bit of stamping on these pages. Here's a um, piece of copy paper that's green and I just stapled on this uh, dinosaur um, card. And then I have, it kind of makes a little tuck so I have this collage tag. It says find your wings and fly. It goes behind it. Book page, another stamp leaf stamp. Here's one of those pages from that beaver book. You can see the they're working by the stream when they're cutting off the trees. And on these pages there would be other little uh, wildlife see around on the pages. So uh, I thought it really went well with this book. So anyway, this is another uh, pocket made out of book page and some scrapbook paper and it's just got three different places to put um, a tag. And this is just an old get well card. I bought it at a estate sale <clears throat> and on the bag it had a whole bunch of them and it said that they were from 1948 that somebody had somebody's mother had been ill and that was all the, her um, get well cards. So anyway, that had a bear on it so I put it in here. Ledger paper. The book page is in the center of the signature. It's the other side of the ledger paper. This is just a flip and I put on it <clears throat> what I call a collage stamp. It's just three different stamps and three different colors just stamped on there. That way I don't have any bulk so that when you flip it up and want to write, you don't have to worry about the bulk. 
And of course it makes a pocket and I just have this tag that I just sprayed with some uh, paint and some inks and just put this little collage on it. It's got fabric and paper. Here's another scene from that beaver book. You can see there's the deer and the raccoon. And I've got lace on it. And I uh, glued or sewed, I glued this. Um, it's from a small miniature coloring book. And uh, I thought, well, you can color it. I just glued it on that page. And then I've got this um, Get Well Carded. This is not one of the older ones. Um, it's got a bear on it. So I just tucked it under there. Book page. Here is a belly band that I made from a picture from that beaver book, and you can see the different animals there. And I just put some lace behind it. And then this collage tag that I corner punch. All these little tags that I got collage on, I used a corner punch on them, or several different styles of corner punch. It's copy paper. Here's a pocket made out of scrapbook, and here's stamping again. And I just got a collage here with just different uh, paper items. And then inside, I just put this little booklet that's just been stitched and made from book pages and just blank paper. Here's a fabric ruffle that's been stitched on. And here's a pocket from a Reader's Digest uh, condensed book and had a bear in it. And, I j and then two deer. And uh, I just made a pocket out of it. It's been stitched around, but then I made a pocket. And there's a collage tag with corner punches. And here's a, a page from the other bear book I used. Here is a tuck spot made out of a business envelope, just a yellow one I'd fold it up and I glued on one side so you get a tuck there and then you get a tuck behind it. So this is just from a greeting card. And another collage tag that's been corner punched. And lace on the page. And it's a music paper book page, some more cardstock, and that's the end of the first signature. Second signature doesn't have any of the original Little Golden Book uh, pages in it, but it does have, page, does have pages from the other books. Just a pocket with lace and a collage tag. I made a tuck spot just out of some book paper and some fabric and some lace. And I had found these uh, Care Bears Valentine's, so it had a bear on it, so I just put it in there. There's lace on that music paper. Bear page. Here's another belly band made out of a strip of that book page from the beaver book. And it's got a bird nest and some birds in it. And I just put this um, envelope here. Some stamping. The scrapbook made into a, pay, a pocket with another um, collage tag with the corner punches. This is a um, playing card. It's got, it's real pretty. It's got the colors of the swirls on the colors of the actual face of the playing card. And this is just a picture of a bear that I got off the New York Public Library public domain images. Some paper, I think this is called newsprint paper and I just used my scallop scissors on the edge. There's a page from that beaver book with the deer and the little bird. Added some lace. There's a fox. Here's a pocket made out of wallpaper and it's a pocket behind and a pocket inside. And I just have this uh, tag. But there. Ledger paper. Deer stamp. Center of the signature is this scrapbook paper that I folded up to get pockets and it's just got a variety of tags. This is that stamp and I just stitched uh, put it on a piece of book page and then a um, piece of cardstock and stitched around it. And this is just that leaf stamp and some collaging and corner punching. And these pockets have lace on them. Some graph paper, ledger paper. On this uh, paper I got from a kid's uh, workbook, I just stitched another image from um, readers. Oh, no. New York Public Library, their public domain site, and then just have a little card. It's got some collage work on it. Here's a pocket made out of a book page, and it's got a place for a uh, tag there and a place here. Another uh, picture from that uh, beaver book. And there's rabbits. 
other copy paper I just used my uh, scallop scissors on. There's a fabric ruffle that's been stitched onto this paper. Now this was meant to be a pocket, but it's actually um, from some old scrapbooking supplies and it had foam uh, squares on the back to kind of raise it up. So I just put glue on each one of those foam squares and stuck it on and then I forgot, oh yeah, I wanted it to be a pocket. So now it's just a decoration, but you can uh, journal on it. Fabric tab, pocket with lace, some stenciling, not stenciling, stamping, and then a collage tag. Here's another pocket made out of book page and scrapbook paper, and it's got three places to put items. One here in the front, and here's a collage tag. Another image from the New York Public Library. It's got bears, and then behind it, it's got this tag. This is, is uh, this is embossed on there. I had another one in the front. I didn't mention it was embossed. Scrapbook. This is the last page of signature. Scrapbook paper made into a pocket. It's got lace. And it just has a um, collage tag. Last signature, pocket, scrapbook paper, lace, collage tag. We're back to the book pages. And this is a page from the music. This is a music paper page with some lace on it. Here is a page from the one bear book that I just stitched on this card. I think it's a go fish card. And just put this collage tag behind it. Some fabric sti uh, ruffle stitched on, stamp, another scrapbook pocket, scrapbook paper pocket, and it's got lace and st uh, stamping, and then this collage tag. And the paper that I used the scallop scissors on, book page, another image from the uh, New York Public Library public domain images that I put on book page and some scrapbook paper and then stitched it on this paper. And there's a collage tag. A page from the beaver book. Another one of those things that was supposed to be a pocket, you know, that I glued it down. It does have a little room here. You could make it into a tag. And then ledger paper. The original book page is the center of the signature. We got a pocket with some collage tag. And another image with a tag tuck there. This is a uh, pocket. It's got a, another one of those um, Care Bears cards in there. And so you can put other items in there and then you can also use the back of it as a pocket. Another pocket made out of scrapbook paper. It's got stamping on it and then these two journaling cards, lace fabric tab, a belly band that I forgot to put something there, but you can see it's a belly band. I used edged uh, punch around it. It's got a leaf pattern. This is a tuck spot just made out of collage with lace and fabric and paper and a collage tag behind it. Lace on that music paper. Last page of the book has got lace on it and then the end of the signature is another uh, Scrapbook paper that's been folded up for pockets. Got lace there, lace on the bottom, and then these two journaling cards. And that is the end of the journal. So I thank you for watching, and if you're interested, it will be for sale in my Etsy shop, Books by Bert. So thank you. Bye.